pride issue. Are you concerned at all by the rhetoric that you've seen coming well, from Black Lives Matter? I, 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 I guess all I would say to you is that I don't, I, I don't find that kind of rhetoric coming from anybody, you know, so I don't need to single them out. I don't find it generally helpful to sort of resolving issues. I've come to understand something better as a result of the experience I've had with, with them, um, which is that, you know, if you look back at any great sort of crusade that was mounted over time about people's rights and about, you know, issues look like this, um, it has often taken people with radical voices to kind of draw attention to the issue, but then I think we all know that the real resolution to those issues doesn't come from that kind of exchange. It comes from sitting down and, and actually having a rational discussion about what, what needs to be done and what can be done. And so, uh, again, um, you know, I, I, I'm not really, as you probably have noticed, because you've all known me long enough, I'm not really in the outrage department. Um, you know, there are people around here and elsewhere that are much better at the outreach department and they do it for me and for a lot of other people. There's more than enough outreach to go around, including on the part of some of the people who speak out on issues. I think my job is to try and keep the city knit together, to speak up, and I think what I had to say with respect to the police and their participation in Pride was entirely appropriate. I think it was all that needed to be said by me at this point in time. Um, and uh, so that's what I said. And, and uh, now we're going to embark, and it'll be very interesting, um, you know, we're embarking on these meetings that start next week uh, that involve uh, many different organizations from the black community, including uh, Black Lives Matters and myself and the Premier. And uh, I hope they can be constructive. And just as I said, I hope that Pride and Black Lives Matters and the police can sit down and resolve their issues, because that's how you have to sort these things out.